as one of the leading satellite providers in the KA band, Avanti Communications Global Mission is to connect the unconnected. And their work is changing the lives of school children in remote areas of Kenya. Robin Ross found out more. Tenke is a Maasai cattle owner in Kenya. Traditionally, the men are in charge, but times are changing in this remote part of the world. His daughter, Lesian, is taking computer classes. Making Lesian's dream possible are four satellites, 36,000 kilometres up in space, each the size of a car. They belong to Avanti Communications, the leading KA band satellite provider to the communications industry in Europe, the Middle East and Africa. It aims to connect the unconnected. Half the world's population wake up in the morning and don't have enough money to feed the family that day. So job number one is, can the internet help you to be able to generate more income? Absolutely, of course it can. Secondly is then you want to get your kids to school. So therefore once they get to school, we can help them by giving them access to digital education content. Avanti has brought online learning to 245 schools in Kenya. The first thing to do is really understanding their challenges and culture and then not working against it but working with it. So an example, a girl in Africa, normally it was seen her benefit, was, well, her, her value into a village was selling her for marriage at times. So dowry to the, to the parents was what they were, were looking for. Helping parents understand that, that now if you can educate a girl and she can get a great job and she can bring money back into the village and she can show others you know, what happens, that's really powerful. We've seen examples where children can learn on a traditional model in Africa six months in a full year versus with digital education 18 months. So they generate three times as much learning across that school year and we have examples now where girls in eight, nine years old are getting better education than their teenage brothers. Lesian's school has 26 desktops and 25 laptops. Her teacher has seen a transformation. As a teacher, it's my pride to see my learners or the students who have been interacted with me excel in life. I am very proud of Lesian. She wants to be a software engineer. The father dots on Lesian and wants to know how far she can be able to go with her interest in computer. He's not interested in getting her married off. He would like her to become uh, a somebody. Living somewhere like this, you take it for granted that you can use the internet and your mobile phone. But it's not the same story across the world. It's estimated that 2.9 billion people have still never ever used the internet. Reaching these communities is a challenge. Avanti has a local team on the ground in Nairobi and Kyle and Debbie spend much of their time travelling to these remote areas. It might take you six hours to get from the town to the village, going across rivers. You're not turning up in a truck, you're turning up with a cow pulling a wagon with the equipment on it. But when you get there and the villagers actually start using the service, it's extraordinary. <laughs> This is the moment villagers were connected for the very first time. And connection can offer a lifeline in desperate times. Around 108 million people around the world have been forced to flee their homes. Solar-powered satellite broadband is being used in refugee camps in Uganda. When they've fled fast, they haven't taken passports, they haven't taken documentation, they can't, they're not all in touch with all of their families. So these, this connectivity there allows them to do that to actually be able to get all the documentation that they need um, and in some cases apply for jobs. Avanti wants to reach more people. It aims to connect 10,000 schools and villages in Africa. I want to get to 10,000 schools and educate millions of children every single day because we know the economic benefit of education for a village is enormous.